I love the magic green plant, but sometimes I be just chilling, minding my own damn business, and then all of a sudden, bang, the Zaza decides to make something as simple as my toe hurts a little bit into, holy shit, I have toe cancer and I'm going to die. But something you guys might not know is that there are levels to greening out, as not all green jelly bean attacks are with the same ferocity as Mike Tyson's uppercut. Sometimes it can be just a small jab that knocks you down, so let's start out with the Jake Paul special. Level 1. Uh, whatever. This is the initial level where you start to suspect that something could be wrong. You might have dove deeper into a bad thought than you would usually, or you find yourself thinking about a subject outside the one being discussed quite intensely. This is the level where if you act according to the CBD bro code of not being a dum dum and just stop yourself from diving deeper, it can quite easily be stopped with just a change of scenery or switching concentration from your thoughts into the activity at hand. That being a video game, chatting with friends, a TV show, etc. But if for some reason you forget to actively stop it, well, you're gonna move on to level 2. Okay, stay calm. So you didn't stop the mighty green out when you had the chance. Well, now you've dug yourself much deeper and it's gonna be a lot harder to come out of it, although still not impossible. At this point, if you're with a group of friends, you are only replying to them because that's what you would normally do, but in your head, you are fighting demons. Not the devil himself yet, but it's still quite the battle. Yet at this level, you are still able to keep your composure and haven't ruined the group's vibe by being like, holy shit guys, I'm, I'm freaking out, I, I need to go home. Cause you know, if you were in their shoes, that would totally kill the vibe. But if you don't manage to crawl out of this hole, you will go straight to level 3. Game over, man. Game over. Well, she, at this point, it's game over, man. It's impossible to pull yourself out. Well, not impossible, but highly improbable. If you're with a group of friends, this is the point where you just can't take it anymore and you change the group's vibe from fun to emergency mode. But if you are unlucky enough to be with a group of people you are not really that close with, well, this would be the time to just kind of walk out of there. Because you just can't function in a situation like that anymore. Every sentence you think about forming, the voice in your head will go, <gasps> You sure these guys are going to find that funny? W what if they don't? What if they find it offensive? What if they f kill you for it? So yeah, at this point, she is too extreme to handle in a situation like that. But it gets even worse at level 4. Freak out. You're screwed. If you're in a social situation, this is the last chance to put on your big boy pants and just dash out of there. But at this point, even that's kinda scary. Cause every damn object looks like a demon and every stranger with a hint of blue is a cop. Your brain cannot handle thoughts anymore, so just switch that sh** to autopilot and start walking. Even though you know that the police aren't probably gonna get you, it doesn't matter. Because you are convinced if they don't get you, the devil himself will pop out and bring you to hell with him. Although this is complete paranoia mode, if you are alone in your room or with a group of close people in emergency mode, you'll be okay, just barely. But you need to hope and pray that you'll start coming down soon, cause if not, well, level 5. I am going to die. Like, no kidding, I'm going to die 100%. The last and final level. At this point, you were 100% screwed. There is no pulling out anymore. All you can do is wait for your high to dissipate and just crawl up in a ball until then. You have convinced yourself that whatever it may be that started all this is the actual end of the world. Like no cap, sometimes the Zaza just doesn't like you and convinces you that the end is coming. No amount of persuasion and calming down from your friends will help you now. So they probably just left you in the corner while they went to enjoy the high. Only thing you can do is drink water and run around to sweat the THC from your system. And if you're lucky, you might make it back to Yodi Land before the day is over. Until then, it's the trenches for you. Oh, and if you want to learn about the different types of greenouts, click the video on the screen. See you there.